Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you cut the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone that will save the galaxy from Arkham. Not me. Not me. Definitely not Senya. What did Senya do to earn this grudge? She was ruthless. After we deserted, she hunted us for months. Everyone on my crew bled more than once on account of her. I put all my trust in Lana and she goes to Senya for help. She does not know what she's getting us into. Senya acts according to... I don't know what. Her own narrow concept of justice, maybe. Even if her objectives align with yours, it doesn't mean she'll do what you need to get done. Believe me, just don't forget who dropped everything to storm the spire and help Lana pull you out of Carbonite, all right? That was your choice. I never asked you to do any of this. You're really not hearing me. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the gravestone can get us all the way to asylum. Hey, I know Lana doesn't seem to be in the talking mood, but maybe check in on her. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what took place out there. One moment there were knights, and the next... What do you suppose happened? There could be weapons on this ship that we don't know about. Koth was on his way outside, and I don't think HK would know his way around the controls. It's caused to be unsettled, of that I'm certain. Just as I'm certain I was right in asking Senya to join us. You could have let me know we had backup on the way. I wanted you to encounter her without my guidance, to see if you saw her as I did. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course, years ago. Those two will have to get past their differences. It won't be easy. I should continue my meditation. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing.
Tinkering finally exhausted itself? One thing that hasn't changed in five years, and I doubt it ever will, meatbag bickering. Agreement? You said it, Master. Report, I've taken on the task of exploring the ship's interior. Analysis, there are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point. Revelation, I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query, any orders, Master? As you were, HK. Approval. I like your orders. I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I feel like I'm being watched. I can stop looking at you. Maybe that will help. There. Better? No? Worth a try. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. I live by a code, but I don't follow it to the letter. I've heard your code. Victory from passion. It's a powerful notion. Very much like how Arkin operates. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Everything I've done has brought me here. I'm supposed to face Arkham, to stop him. Careful with that. Destiny can cloud your judgment more than doubt ever could. Or rum. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I don't trust either of you. That's fair. But I think you'll come to find one of us is more trustworthy than the other. Valkorion lives. He is not himself. Nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see. And yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. 